Okay, it's me. I'm back. Um, I think everything is working right now. I see that the comment section is up and I've got a Yeti microphone that I'm testing out. Let me know if the sound is okay, whoever's tuned in. I see Nicole is here and Flo and Andrea and Nadina and sound is so much better. Good. Very good. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, I can't do anything about the fan on here, the sound of the fan, but hopefully the microphone is good enough to give you a decent enough sound despite the fan. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you, Anastasia. Love to you, too. Sounds good. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Flo. Thank you, everyone. Um, wow. <laughs> Didn't really expect this kind of a uh, turnout just for a test. <laughs> um, if you guys want, you know, if you have any questions, ask me. You know, I've, I I could actually talk about a couple things if you want. No more buzzing. Good, good. So all all it took was rebooting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just felt guided to be here, open and listening. Okay. Ah, thank you, Connie. Kevin Durant's too weak to be first Hang on. That was weird. An ad popped up on my other computer and just started playing away. Um, sounds good. Riding so many synchronistic energy waves, going deeper with clarity, loving Venus. Yes. Uh, tell us about the next wave coming, please. Hmm. <laughs> Can I have your shirt? <laughs> um, are tarot cards bad? Well, the next wave. Uh, boy, I hope I can slow this down. <laughs> um, I think these waves are just, they're just coming in, in succession. Um, but the vision I had, the dream I had, was the first two waves that really are going to make an impact are going to converge at the same time. So, um, and if you think of waves as concentric rings going to, to, toward the center, eventually the waves come back out like that. So it's possible that at some point one of these two waves will converge but it's not the way I was visioning, envisioning it in my dream um, okay Connie was asking are tarot cards bad oh no it's a tool for divination definitely and uh, as a matter of fact I bought um, some new oracle cards and uh, they're goddess guidance or oracle cards and the first one I drew was Ishtar uh, yesterday, which uh, basically told me not to overdo things, which if anyone follows me, they know I'm a workaholic and <laughs> I generally overdo things, especially as a triple Libra. Um, everyone, everyone thinks that Libras are all about balance, which we are, but we're constantly seeking balance. So that's that definitely it's kind of if that's what you're uh, being guided to do, definitely do it. Check it out. Have fun with it. There's some great uh, tutorials on YouTube. Uh, Intuitive Pathways also does a, a wonderful. She has a wonderful uh, Veronica is her name. She has a wonderful YouTube channel. Intuitive Pathways. She's always spot on. So check her out too. How do I stop drinking and eating so much? Well, that's a lot of willpower. Um, you really have to put your mind to it uh, and make that decision up uh, that you want to do that. Um, I did that after Michelle and I got back from the Monsters of Rock cruise. Um, I put on, I think, 6.2 pounds at the time. And that's when I decided I was going to um, hire a trainer. And I hired this trainer. His name's uh, Dario Ferrer. And he was a two-time Mr. Florida 
and he's he's wonderful. Um, what I love about him, ironically, is his ego because, you know, many of us we lost the ego a long time ago, and uh, but his ego is what keeps pushing me to do more, and uh, I appreciate it in that kind of sense. Also, another funny thing is when you're lifting weights, say say you're doing curls, you're supposed to look in the mirror at yourself. And I have a hard time doing that. He's always telling me, look up, look in the mirror. I'm like, I don't want to. <laughs> but uh, what he's trying to tell me is use the law of attraction. Envision the body that you want. So if what you're doing uh, about drinking and eating so much um, is, is part of the issue, Christine, envision the body that you want. Make the, de the uh, decision to do what you're going, going to do and do it. Um, I basically lost 15 pounds by eating an all-protein diet and uh, this is what I have for example uh, I'll have three eggs in the morning um, and four eggs in the mornings that I I go to the gym which is Monday Wednesday and Friday for lunch I might have two hamburgers no bread a little ketchup on the side and for dinner I'll have steak or chicken I rarely ever eat vegetables or fruit um, but it works for me and I don't know if it's gonna work for you or others but give it a shot uh, let me know how you're doing Shakti serious. Why is it hard to attract paid clients? Well, you have to get yourself out there, uh, Shakti. Um, use that law of attraction too. Put it out there. That envision that all these people are contacting you. Um, you might want to, if you have a web page, make sure that once you have clients, have a uh, a separate section in there for for them where for for uh, testimonials, because that'll help you too. When people hear about how great you are. They're going to want to uh, be part of your uh, business as well, and they'll look they'll look for you. Um, also, you know, do a lot of posting in other groups. Uh, join as many groups as, as you can as possible, and uh, get your get your name out there. Okay, wow, <laughs> I love the necklace. Thank you. Um, this is a different version of the a similar one that I have. Uh, this is like the purple and green version of uh, one that I have similar, the flower of life. <laughs> Going to commercial? No. <laughs> Can you move to either side? Your face is covered. My face is covered. Like this? <laughs> I don't get it. Side to side. Do you want me to go like this while I'm talking? <laughs> um, love your energy. Thank you, Ella. Love your hair. <laughs> Thank you. Have you been to the beach yet? No! God, it's been t two days since I've been to the beach. I keep telling myself I'm, go I'm going to go, and I should be there for the sunset tonight, but once again, I'm working. I had a bunch of errands I had to do today. So, no, <laughs> unfortunately. I will be going tomorrow. Rock and roll beach bro, Randall Lee Saunders. I saw Randall at the beach the last time I, I was there, two days ago. Yolanda uh, Flores, what is a triple Libra? It means that my sun, moon, and rising are all in Libra. Um, so if you're on you are, look at your sun, moon, and rising. If you have two of the same that are in that house, um, out of that, if you're a Libra and you have at least one other Libra in the sun or the, or, or I'm sorry, in the moon or rising, that makes you either a double or a triple. And it really overemphasizes exactly what you really have to learn in your lessons. Um, so, like I said, mine Libras are supposed to be about balance, and like I said, you know, it's about seeking balance for Libras. So we're constantly out of balance. So I end up having to, uh, you know, I, I'm a workaholic. You know, I'll work 10 to 15 plus hours every day, and uh, I have to force myself to go to the beach. People think I'm joking about that, but I'm serious. You know, if you're a workaholic, it's hard to get away from the computer. So that's what a triple Libra is. <clears throat> nice shirt. Thanks, Greek. I love it. <laughs> I love my tie-dye shirts. One of my favorite ones. It's so old, it's got little holes in it. I still wear it. Blessings from Portugal. Man, it surprised me. You know, the first video I did... I was just so humbled by how many people tuned in and uh, from all over the world. It just, it really touches my heart. Thank you so much. 
move my mic. Okay, should I just go like this? What, closer, further away? Um, give me a little bit more information, please. Um, yeah. And I know I'm a little behind on the comments here. I'm doing my best. Okay, uh, Christopher Evans, Greg, your material has so often been so in alignment with my intentions these past few years. I had a dream about unraveling the mysteries of the black cube of consciousness last night. Does this have any meaning to you? Well, you know, I, I, the first thing I think of is Saturn. Um, when you think of the, the cube, um, Saturn, L. Um, so, unraveling the mysteries of the black cube. I'm sure it has something to do with Saturn, um, but honestly, you know, this is your dream, Christopher. Um, go within and feel. It does it have something to do with that? Um, it, it sounds like some kind of cover-up, actually. I, I hope you figure out what it is. I'd like to I'd like to hear what your answer is, uh, Lu Lucia Foster. Time to watch The Secret again. Yes, yes, I love The Secret. You can't watch it enough. I probably have watched that, and I'm not kidding. At least 50 times. Okay. Anastasia, what future plans do you have with N5D, if able to share? Um, none, actually. You know, I'm, I'm just plugging away, doing what I do. Um, this is the new thing, I guess. Starting to do uh, Facebook Live things, and maybe I'll just do them impromptu, like I'm doing right now. Because people can always watch them. Uh, recorded, um, but nothing uh, other than that. You know, I don't have any conferences planned. Conferences, as anyone knows, that puts them on. <laughs> it's a lot of work, and uh, you're lucky if you break even for all the work that you do. And I mean, it's so hard to do. But what I love doing is bringing all those people together, and I've met so many wonderful people at conferences that I've hosted. And there's a lot of wonderful memories with wonderful, wonderful speakers that we've had. But nothing really new coming up. Okay, scrolling. I need to start eating fruits and veggies. Um, not yet. Uh, actually, I, I, the, the uh, diet that I'm on, you're allowed to cheat for one meal once a week. So what I had was a uh, tuna fish sub and I had lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers on it. So I, I got a little vegetable in for the week. Are your sun and moon in the first house or the twelfth? I would have to look at my chart, Jody. I, I, I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Take care, Alan. Thanks for uh, helping me out with the, with the sound. And the video is centered. Looks good. Okay, thank you. The live sign is on your forehead. Okay, I'm live. A bit to your left to move the mic. This is weird because everything's... Is that better? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is like very new to me, so I'll probably mess up a few times, but I, th I appreciate all the feedback and helping me um, get this down. and. Hopefully the next live chat will be a little bit better. We'll see. Christine, you look much younger than you used to with your short hair and former looking face. <laughs> that's funny. Thank you, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a compliment. <laughs> Put your camera higher so you are centered. Higher. I don't know. I'm should I sit further away? I, I, it's a long reach to my mouse to read everything. Um, Jacqueline Plat Platner, love N5D, such great info. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline, for being part of our N5D family. And Christine Bradley said she watched The Secret today, first time because of me. Ah, watch it many, many, many more times. You'll love it. So, uh, 
Uh, Justin Craig is asking, so my ascendant is Libra with Pluto, Saturn, and Jupiter, but I'm Gemini. What would that mean? I may question. Um, if anyone here is an astrologer or an astrologist, um, could you please answer, Justin? I'm not. I just do this as a, uh, I just tinker in it a little, you know? Um, so I, I honestly couldn't tell you what all that means. I find it absolutely fascinating. Um, but if somebody can, um, help Justin Craig Hill out on his question, please. <laughs> Rob Selkirk says he's at the beach watching this. Okay, uh, Marjorie said that uh, she had hosted Expos since October and none of them broke even. Uh, she goes on to ask any ideas or insight into how we can gather the newly awakened. Um, there's a website called Meetup, meetup.com, M-E-E-T-U-P.com. You might want to see if you can start something locally in your area there. Um, I know we have some uh, stores here where you can post um, business cards and bulletins, organic, holistic stores, um, where you could do that and maybe create some kind of interest uh, for that. So look into those two options and uh, gathering the newly awakened. You know, myself, I have the uh, the weekly or the monthly N5D meetup here on Siesta Key Beach. Our next one's coming up on June 25th, and uh, our last one was really amazing. We had a lot of people that showed up. Much love and peace to you, Tammy. Hi, Cindy Staffen. Cosmic Disclosure. What do you think of these interviews? Uh, that's from Claudio. Uh, initially, Claudio, I was really intrigued with them, but I haven't watched one in two months. For some reason, I've been guided away from it. So, um, ultimately, I think that and I've been saying this all along, all the answers are within. Um, so to look for other people for answers and additional disclosure, really, disclosure is not even needed. We already know that our galactic family and friends exist, you know? What more disclosure do you need? Uh, if you're going to wait for the government to make any kind of disclosure quotes or comments, you know, it's all going to be hot air and bullshit anyway, for, for whatever they're, they're going to say. And there's going to be an agenda behind it, so just go within. Um, Myself, going within, said I'd no longer need to be watching that. Um, so I, I stopped watching it a while ago, about two months ago. Your camera is fine. Thank you, Nicole. Marjorie says, my aura is glowing. Ah, thank you. Christine, love your articles even though I can't keep up with them. Ah, I know, I put a lot of material out there. Um, sometimes up to like five articles every day. Usually two, um, sometimes three, but up to five. Uh, Spellbreaker Nick is asking, do you know something about Metatron? I've been saying that in some meditation. I think he meant seeing. I've been seeing that in some meditation, and I don't know what it was and why. Oh, and why I was saying it. Okay. Um, I know other people um, will channel Metatron, um, but once again, I kind of spoke about channeling in the first Facebook Live video where you have to be really careful what you're channeling, who you're channeling, um, and the example I gave is true. A good friend of mine was channeling Mother Mary, and she gave her this information of stuff that hadn't happened yet, and little by little, each one of these things happened. And then Mother Mary told her to kill herself. So what I'm seeing is that a lot of these channeled beings are not who they say they are. Uh, they're actually um, dark entities or some kind of archon or whatever posing as you know, Mother Mary, Jesus, Archangel Michael, so on and so forth. So just be real careful if you're going to channel. And that's one of the main reasons why I don't put any channeled information, very little at least, on N5D. Uh, 
Uh, you're very welcome, Layla. Thank you for being part of our N5D family. Okay. OP Blue Book. So I'm just trying to get caught up here. Um, <laughs> Christine Bradley, why aren't you married? I've been married twice, and you'll never see the ring of Saturn on my finger again. Uh, there won't be a third time. It's funny how you, you know we exchange rings in the Saturn, uh, Saturnistic ceremony, and um, you know the rings really do represent the rings of Saturn. And in astro theology, Saturn is Satan. Um, so yeah, I I won't get married again. Um, you know, if that day ever comes, I would consider vows on a beach, just personal to each other. But marriage, no. Thank you, Jody. She says my energy looks really good. You look centered and true. Thank you. I wish I'd be even more centered if I was able to go to the beach earlier today. <laughs> and Connie says, that's why I asked about cards, because if cards are bad, can dark entities come through? Well, you want to make sure that you clear yourself beforehand and uh, make sure that your, your intentions are of the greatest and highest good and uh, you should be fine uh, if you're going to be using tarot cards but um, also keep in mind that things change you might do a simple layout of you know past present future but the future card even though it might not be something great or very promising that can change so nothing is written in stone um, and a lot of it depends on your interpretation of the cards Justin Craig Hill, you must be able to recognize them when you channel, right? You'll know. You'll well. You should know. I I don't. I can't speak for everyone. Um, if you're getting all this great information, then all of a sudden they lead you in a, in a bad direction when you're channeling. Um, you're going to have to use your own discernment on that. Um, and here's the example I used um, when I was younger. I used to fall asleep. Um, and I'd hear these these voices, muffled voices, and it sounded like they were in the room next to me, but it wasn't my parents, it wasn't the TV, it wasn't my sisters. Just muffled voices, and I'd fall asleep, and I'd hear them right before I fell asleep. And about 10 years ago, I, um, I was about ready to doze off, and all of a sudden, those voices came in loud and clear. And what it sounded like was a male and a female voice that was layered upon each other. And so I kept a notebook and a pen next to my bed so I could write down my dreams. So I just grabbed the pen and I started having a conversation with these beings. And what happens is they, anyone that channels knows that as you're asking the question, you don't even have to finish the question because they're already answering before you even asked the full question. They're communicating telepathically with you. So, like, for example, one of the questions I had it is, how is this possible that we're able to communicate with each other like this? And the only part I was able to get out was, how is this possible that, and they were already answering the question. Um, so, and what they told me was, is that when you, right before you go to sleep, your mind goes into the alpha state, and that makes it, you, that makes you very susceptible to channeling. So, and just like what I was explaining when I was um, showing people how to open up their third eye. A lot of times, if you can get into that alpha state, you'll see, and with your eyes closed right before you're ready to, ready to go to sleep, you'll see these white lights, might be blue or purple lights swirling. And if you, you can maintain your focus, you'll be able to open up your third eye and start seeing visions. So if you can get your mind in that alpha state, you never know what might happen. You might start channeling, you might open your third eye. It all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Jacqueline said she had a dream of flying through space and time around ma amazing stars. The stars were in the formation of pyramids. That's pretty cool. That's a really cool dream. Okay. OK. 
Got lots of people here, surprisingly. My God. 40, 46 people on something that was just totally unplanned. Um, one of the things I'd like to talk about is uh, the Divine Feminine. Um, when my daughter was born, before my daughter was born, uh, people would ask me, do you want a son or a daughter? And like most men, I said a son. And, uh, but I knew, I just knew inside I was going, going to have a daughter. And now that she's born, I wouldn't trade her for all the sons in the world. She was the, such a huge blessing to me, and I, I love her so much. Thing is about Brittany, when she was little, I'm a big football fan. I love watching the NFL football. Yeah, I know it's all about divide and conquer, and since I've gone down my spiritual path, I look at sports in a completely different way. But I still like watching football. I play in a couple of fantasy football leagues, and it's a distraction for me that I enjoy. It gets me away from work. So on Monday nights, or maybe Sunday nights, my daughter would curl up in a little ball on my lap, and she'd look at me with her little puppy dog eyes, and in her, her softest angel voice, she would say, Daddy, can I watch a little football with you? I'd be like, sure, pumpkin. Five minutes later, she's running around doing everything other than watching football. There's my German Shepherd, Sammy, right here. Hi, Sammy. Oh, hi, buddy. But what she ended up doing... <laughs> hi, buddy. What she ended up doing was um, she tore down that masculine side of me and showed me a side I haven't seen in myself since I was a child. And she brought forward that divine feminine. Now to all the guys listening right now, honor that, honor that divine feminine. It's not gonna make you any less of a man. As a matter of fact, your woman will love you even more. And other women will find that even more attractive in you, that you can have that soft side of yourself and to, you know, go into the heart, express your emotions, don't be afraid to cry. It doesn't make you less of a man at all. Okay, so that was a true blessing though, um, uh, to have that uh, divine feminine awakening. And it's, it's something that all guys really should, I'm not saying you have to, I don't like telling people they have to do anything, but you probably should at least explore that side of yourself and uh, let it out. Your woman will totally dig that in you, okay? Let's see if there's any more questions. scroll back a little okay um, tell you what if you have any questions uh, just start out with a question mark ask your question and end in a question mark and it'll make it easier for me to see the questions <laughs> Kelly says are there any dudes here nope mm, there might not be Rosie Neil hi Rosie love you um, she says it's all about the frequency and a marriage between masculine and feminine. I totally agree. And as a matter of fact, if things fall into place, Rosie and I were talking about a documentary she's putting together with a bunch of big names um, in this field, and she asked me if I would be part of it. And I said, yes, of course I would. So, you know, the introvert is coming out and doing a few more things that he wouldn't have done maybe three, four years ago. So Rosie, keep me posted on that and I'll keep everybody else posted on that on N5D. It's going to be pretty cool. Oh, where is Sammy? He's laying down uh, on his puppy mat. Yvonne's asking, have you ever met someone in your dreams? Well, I, I think you mean someone that I already know or somebody that I haven't known and that I met later I'm not sure exactly what you mean on that Sue Darowitz have you ever seen demon like faces come out of a wall or see yourself in a dream in a dream seen yourself in a dream in a dream in a dream wow that part I haven't and I've never seen demon faces coming out of a wall either but if that ever if that's ever happened to you, that might be an opportunity for you to help transmute this person. I mean, what really is a demon anyway? 
could just be um, a scary looking person that has a great heart. I mean, <laughs> what do we know? Um, you know, there's so many different other beings out there, but it might be an opportunity to transmute that person, send it to the light, and help the help that person. You know, if and if you do, and it keeps coming back, I'd recommend smudging the house. And uh, what I usually say when I smudge is, I ask that all negative entities and beings leave this house immediately. Only those who are in the highest vibration of truth, love, and light are welcome here. So I do actually welcome beings and entities of the highest vibration of truth, love, and light because they're our friends and family. So of course they're welcome here. Uh-oh. Patricia says, broadcast interrupted. Are we still live here? I think we are. Hopefully we are. Okay. I see other people joining. That's good. So, uh, I guess getting back to my diet, um, the diet that I have um, is basically an all-protein diet, um, but I've, what I've noticed was that it doesn't matter you know, if you're a vegetarian, vegan, or if you eat meat, uh, though, although I'm sure it ma that matters to the animals. Um, but when I got my galactic download in 2008, at the time I was eating everything and anything. I was drinking Mountain Dew. Uh, gosh, I, I would, I would buy cases of Mountain Dew. And when I was a child and family therapist, going in between clients, I'd drink one. I'd bring like anywhere between six to eight Mountain Dews with me and drink them all day. I used to love that crap, which it is. Um, but I was, I was eating Krispy Kreme donuts. I wasn't buying organic anything back in 2008, but I still got my galactic download. So I think that, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you need to have a clean body for transmissions or downloads and stuff like that. No, you don't. No. Um, maybe it would help. Maybe I would have gotten it eventually later on. I don't know, but I got it despite eating whatever I ate. So, um, I think people overthink a lot, that a lot. Yeah, and you should. And what I'm doing is, you know, I'm I'm trying to. My goal right now is to be healthier and more fit at the age of 57 than I am at 56. So, uh, you know, I've, I've I've watched what I'm eating, and uh, you know, I am going to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and uh, I'm I do put a lot of value into the the body, mind, soul, spirit. You know, I'm trying to be the ultimate, I guess, um, equal part of body, mind, soul, spirit. Um, because I think what we're doing right now is we're preparing our bodies um, to become light bodies. And uh, it's important right now, I think, for us, to, for us to be more conscientious about our bodies. But it's not everything. And if you're worried about you might not get your abilities and stuff because of what you're eating. I had the most important galactic download after eating and drinking a lot of crap. So, for what it's worth. Uh, yes, I am kind of open to doing films, but it has to be the right situation and Rosie presented me with the right situation. <laughs> Yvonne's on the same diet. Um, so, like I said, if you oh here's if you have any questions, start out with a question mark, ask the question, and end in a question mark, and I'll be able to see that one a lot easier and quicker. So Greek Heraklia, I think is the name. Do we ever meet in real life those we might have a connection to in our ships or dreams? I would think that most people that you meet in real life, you had a soul contract with, 
and actually there's millions of people that you have soul contracts soul contracts with that you'll never meet or you might just walk by them do you ever have that feeling that you know you walk by somebody they feel you feel like you know them but you never had a chance to talk to them chances are that was part of your soul family um, and it happens quite often so many people will cross your path at the right time but not you won't necessarily um, recognize each other in this incarnation but you might have that feeling you might feel like I know you I know it I know you <laughs> but you don't actually come out and say that and uh, it's kind of like an opportunity lost but all of us do that you know um, it happens to every single one of us that we make that connection we feel that connection but we don't actually say something to that person So, I don't really have anything more I was really going to talk about. This was actually supposed to be just a test on my microphone. So if you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask away. I'm going to, in the meanwhile, I'm going to draw a, guide, a guidance card, a goddess guidance oracle card. And I'm going to intend that this is a global message for everybody tuning in, okay? So this is going to be our message, not just for me, but everybody that's watching this live or recorded. This message is for us, okay? So this will be fun. These cards are so cool. Okay. You ready? This is our card. Oh my gosh. This card just came up. Yesterday, I was doing a, uh, a card reading for Michelle Walling and it came up for her. I know exactly what page it's on. <clears throat> it's Hathor. Okay. And this is the message that goes out to everyone. Hathor, receptivity, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. And this is the message from Hathor. You have a material, a maternal side to you. Wow, that's ironic because I was just talking about the divine feminine. You have a, a maternal side to you that naturally cares for those in need. Yet this must be balanced with receptivity or the flow is blocked. Receiving is the essence of the feminine energy, and it means allowing yourself to receive with grace and gratitude, which is another point that I was talking about earlier. Uh, gratitude is huge. If you feel guilty when asking help from others, or if you feel bad about receiving gifts, then you block your feminine energy. Your receptivity is just as natural as your nurturing, giving energy. Receptivity allows you to better hear the voices of the angels. When you receive, you have more resources to give to others. Begin by noticing the hundreds of gifts you receive each day. Whether it's seeing beauty in nature, witnessing a touching human moment, or being hugged by a loved one. That means big old bear hugs. Um, also means... Um, something that I love doing is the walk of gratitude just appreciating all the simple things in life not taking anything for granted simply say thank you for each gift which is part of Ho'oponopono and know that you're filling up your storehouse keeping the divine flow going strong that was a really cool message thank you universe <laughs> much gratitude and like I said these are from the Doreen Virtue um, goddess guidance oracle cards really cool I just picked them up and uh, I'm digging them so that was our, our message oh my gosh Yvonne Jordan said no joke I pulled that card too yesterday ha! that's funny <laughs> what are the odds 100% okay just scrolling back a little yeah, that was really cool. So I was at this um, local metaphysical store. I went out and bought a uh, Father's Day card for my dad. And 
an anniversary card for my parents who uh, whose anniversary is next week and I bought this really cool crystal it's a titanium quartz and the reason I chose this one is because of all of its high vibrational colors there's so much green purple blue so you basically have your higher level chakra colors on this and it's just so friggin gorgeous but yeah isn't that pretty so you know a lot of times if I go to a store like that um, certain crystals will speak to you they'll call you and uh, you know sometimes you you're like I don't care I don't care what the price is I have to have that I'll often do that with um, rings anyone that knows me I, I love my opal rings opal is the October birthstone I have like every color of opal you can have for ev ev virtually every finger except my thumb but I imagine I could probably put my ring finger on my thumb uh, so but yeah uh, there's a uh, one time Michelle and I were going to the beach and this this guy had a crystal stand on the side of the road we we would call him crystal dude because we never knew his name but he had all this these amazing crystals on the side of the road and because we always stopped and bought stuff there um, he would give us great deals and I have this huge cathedral amethyst I don't know what I might pay for it but it's probably under 300 bucks for something that big, I mean, it, it probably is worth a lot more, but he gave me an, an amazing deal on it. I have this other huge, it's all these double terminated crystals, and it's at least that big, and about that thick of double terminated crystals that are like fused together in this huge stone. It's so freaking beautiful, and he gave us a good deal on that too. So, um, I'm a sucker for crystals. Anything that's sharp, uh, shiny and sparkly, that's me. Want to distract me? Hold up some, something shiny and sparkly. I'm like, oh my god, what is that? So, Do you practice chakra? I'm not sure. Um, do I practice chakra? I've done chakra cleansings and clearings. Matter of fact, uh, Doreen Virtue has a really good um, morning and evening uh, guided med chakra meditation. I used to do that all the time. Um, when I was working as a child and family therapist for this one company, um, I would drive to the, my, my client's house and uh, on the way there, the first thing in the morning, I would listen to Doreen Virtue's uh, morning chakra clearing. Um, you know, as you, as you get, as you progress in your spirituality, as you raise your vibration, as you uh, continue to ground yourself, you'll find that you don't have to worry about energy implants, alien torture devices, and all that crap. You don't really, you know, you don't need to go to a healer to have all this crap removed. You don't. You can if you want to. You don't have to. As long as your vibration's high and you're grounded, none of that stuff can stay in your system or is even going to affect you. It'll dissolve like that. It can't affect you. So, I mean, you can spend money on that or you can just ground yourself, sit under a tree, go to the beach, <laughs> you know, save a little money, do it yourself. We are the ones we have been waiting for. You can do it. I see Ginny here. Hi, Ginny. Tell Missy I said hi. Uh, Ginny and Missy from metamissy.com. Oh, my dog Sammy's tilting his head because he knows Ginny and Missy 